In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a Spearman's rank correlation test, and this includes generating a p-value. So a Spearman's rank correlation test is a non-parametric measure of rank correlation, and it is a statistical test used to determine the strength and direction the association between two ranked variables. If you're interested in performing a Pearson correlation test in Excel, I'll leave a link in the description. But let's crack on with the Spearman correlation test. So here I have two variables, age and BMI, and there are 11 pairs of data in this data set. And the very first thing you need to do for a Spearman correlation test is to calculate the ranks of the variables. So what we want to do is to tell Excel to rank the data in ascending order. So this will assign a rank of one to the smallest value and so on and so forth. Now to do this, I'll use the rank.average formula. So I'm gonna click in the first cell and I'm gonna do this for the age variable first. So I'm gonna type in equals rank.avg, open bracket. And this is where you want to click on the first data point in the variable and then add a comma. And then next, Excel is asking you for a reference. So the reference is the whole data set because it needs to know the whole data set to be able to rank it, add a comma, and then the order. So we want to sort this in ascending order. So I'm gonna enter one. Close the bracket and then press the return key. So a value of 35 in the age variable is ranked third. So it is the third lowest value. And what we want to do is repeat that for all of our measures in the age group. Now, firstly, what I'm going to do is lock the reference cells by adding in a dollar sign before the column letter and before the row number, like so. And this will lock these cells so that they won't move when we drag the formula down. So now if I click on the first cell and then in the lower right -hand corner, I want to click and drag to carry on the formula for the rest of the data sets in the age variable. So there are our ranks for the age variable. And what I'm going to do is repeat this for the BMI variable. So again, it's equals rank.avg, open bracket, the first data point, and then add a comma. The reference cells are going to be the BMI variable, add a comma, and then it's one to sort in ascending order, and then press the return key. So notice here that this value for the first point is 3.5. So in this instance, Excel has averaged the ranks since there is more than one data point that has a value of 26. Specifically, the value of 26 appears twice. So Excel will average the ranks in this case. So again, I'm going to lock the cells by doing the dollar symbol. And then I'm going to carry on the formula for the rest of the data points in that variable. So now we have calculated our ranks for our two variables. So I'm just going to hide this original data set because we don't actually need this for the Spearman's rank correlation test. So the next thing we want to do is to calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So I'm going to click on a new cell and then type in equals and then coral. C-O-R-R-E-L, open bracket. I'm gonna select the first variable of the ranked data, add a comma, and then select the second variable of the ranked data, close the bracket, and then press the return key. So the correlation coefficient value in this case is 0.628. So this means that there is a positive correlation between the ranked variables of age and BMI in this data set. So now let's get a p-value to associate with this coefficient value. And the first thing we need to do is calculate the n. So the n is the number of pairs in the data set. Now if you have a small data set, you can just count the number of pairs manually. Or you can use the count function in Excel. So you can do equals count, open bracket, and then I'm just going to select the BMI variable, close the bracket, and then enter. So I have 11 pairs. Now it's very important that the data should be paired throughout. If there are missing values in one of the pairs, then you need to remove that pair from the analysis. So the next thing we need to do is to calculate a t-statistic, and we need 
this T statistic to be able to determine the p-value. And there are two pieces of information we need. There's the sperm and correlation coefficient and the number of pairs that we've just calculated. And the equation to create the T statistic can be found on screen. So in a new cell, I'm going to type in equals, open bracket, and the first thing I'm going to do is type in ABS and open bracket. So this is starting the absolute formula in Excel. And this is because we need the absolute value of the coefficient value. And this is important when you have a negative correlation coefficient value, because if you have a negative coefficient value and you don't change that to a positive number, the absolute number, then this means there'll be an error when you calculate the T statistic. So this is why we use the ABS formula here. Basically, if the coefficient value in this example was negative 0.62, the ABS formula will change this to positive 0.62. And now if we carry on with the equation, we need to multiply by the square root. So it's SQRT, open bracket N, which is this cell here, the number of pairs, minus two, and then close the bracket for that, and then close the bracket again, and then divide, open bracket, square root again, open bracket, one minus ABS, open bracket, the correlation coefficient value again, close the bracket, and we need to do squared. So we want to do to the power of two. And then I'm going to close that bracket and close the other bracket. So that is the formula in Excel to calculate the T statistic for this data set. And I'm going to press the return key. So the T statistic in this example is 2.42. So the next thing we need to do is calculate the number of degrees of freedom in the data. So the degrees of freedom can be found by subtracting two from n. So simply we can do equals n, which is 11, minus two. So the degrees of freedom is nine. And now the final step is to calculate the p-value. So to do this in an empty cell, I'm going to type in tdist, d-i-s-t, for open bracket. And the first thing, we want to select is the t statistic, which is this value here. And I'm going to add a comma, and then it's the number of degrees of freedom, which is this cell here. Add a comma, and then you either enter one if you want to do a one-tailed test, or two if you want to do a two-tailed test. And in this example, I'm going to enter two because I want to do a two-tailed test. Close the bracket, press the return key. So there we have our p-value. And the p-value in this case is 0 0.038. And if our significance level, our alpha level, was 0 0.05, since our p-value is less than this, this would mean that there is a significant positive correlation between the ranks of age and BMI in this example. So that is how you can perform a Spearman's rank correlation test by using Microsoft Excel. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.